Well, the American Red Cross says it's facing the worst blood shortage in more than a decade, and it's already impacting hospitals and patient care. Lindsay Nadrich is digging deeper into what this means for hospitals in our area. Lindsay? Well, OHS Hughes says this blood crisis is forcing them to make tough decisions about who gets blood transfusions and delay some major surgeries. The American Red Cross says less people have been donating during the pandemic. They've also seen a 62% drop in blood drives being hosted by high schools and colleges, which are usually big donors. OHS Hughes said the blood supply is so dangerously low, they can no longer give some patients the blood and platelets they normally would, like patients with leukemia experiencing shortness of breath or bruising. We now have had to prioritize our limited supply for those who need it most, such as those who are actively bleeding, having chest pain, undergoing emergent surgeries, or whose blood counts are so low that they're in really dire straits. I can tell all of you that I've been with this organization for 18 years, and I haven't seen it this bad. I have never seen us uh, not be able to provide the products that hospitals need when they're requesting it. The Red Cross says the recent surge of COVID cases and bad weather, which forced them to cancel some donation events last week, has only made the situation worse. So if you can donate, they say now is the time to do it. Your donation could save someone's life. They're also offering some incentives right now to people who donate. And if you can't donate, they're also in need of volunteers because like many organizations, they're dealing with staffing shortages. We have more information about how to donate and volunteer on coin.com reporting live on Lizzie Nadarch coin six news.